Dennis Nunn. We're out here today at uh, Hastings, Nebraska with Todd Hoffman. And Todd, you've been using the Agri Advantage program how many years? This will be our 13th year. Wow, it's hard to see as possible. Hey, just contrast what your program used to be and what you were spending on fertility and 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 we'll talk more about the results, but contrast just cost of a program, fertility of a program that you used to use compared to where you are today. And then we'll talk about kind of how you, how you move through that over the last 13 years. Great Dennis question. I love sharing this with people because it just brings out the agri system to what it's really all about and that is ROI. But in the 90s when we didn't know any better, we were using 1034-0, which is a green acid fertilizer with anhydrous ammonia. And where our fertility program was basically anhydrous, which is nitrogen, and I'm trying to look for some FOSS with 1034-0, but really not putting anything else there, but we were spending anywhere between 95 to $110 an acre with the dry fertilizer that we had to put down. And we all know what dry fertilizer means. It only gets worked in the soil a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch per year, doesn't move, and it's not a readily available. And that was the main thing that turned us on to Conklin Ag Advantage is the availability and recoverability of all the nutrients that we put in our field. So what have you seen happen during your, well, what's compared to that $110 an acre, what are you spending today and what have you seen as a result? We're spending uh, almost half of that with the Conklin Agri-Granny system and we have more nutrients available, we have more FOSS available, potassium, sulfur, zinc, all the key micronutrients that have to be available for the chelated Conklin agri system. And that's the difference because what we're seeing with this system compared to what we used to have in the 90s is we're seeing availability, recoverability, and we're seeing our pHs move up because we're using neutral pH products. And that's really what it's all about, including the WEX, the Amplify, just improving soil pH over time and taking better care of our soil and knowing our soil before we come into a field. That's why we soil test every year. That's why uh, Conklin Agri Advantage has the relationship with Midwest Labs and you can get that soil test done and you can know what your field's telling you that you need to do for nutrient availability and recovery and you can make that happen economically. Yeah, so the two really, really good things are going on. Number one, your cost of production are going down on a per bushel and per acre basis, but at the very same time, your soil's in better health, better condition. Absolutely, that's the one thing we've noticed. When we started in the 90s, we had pHs that were down to 5.2, which is terribly toxic. Now most of all of our farms, over our, all of our 18 pivot, over our 2,500 2, acre operation, we're seeing our soil pHs from 6.3 to 6.8. That's a total sweet spot for corn and soybeans. So that's what we need to educate our guys on. ProAg1 is a huge, has been a huge benefit. I've probably been to 26 or 27 over in the last 13 years. And I tell you what, it's changed. I've, it's, it's installed a passion in me to want to make my soil do better and bring a higher return on investment. For everything I'm putting out there, I wanna know I'm not gonna leave it in the soil. I wanna put that money in the bank. You bet, you bet. Thanks, Todd.